sorry. I'm not trying to be pushy. I just, I need to discuss the deal that I, I talked to Franco about at his exhibit. Yes, I, I'm sure it was him. I hung out with him at his studio. No, could you, could you please just have him call me back? Maxie Jones at Crimson. Thank you. Thank you. Hi. Um, I'm sorry. Our distributors can be so clueless sometimes. I feared this would happen. Spinelli, I'm just totally swamped, and I have like ten more phone calls to make about this issue. And you know how Kate hates it when you just drop in unannounced. So do you think that we could catch up maybe later? So I'm correct. About what? You're pushing yourself too hard. You you have yet to fully recover from the illness that kept you from partaking in our first holiday meal together as non-husband and wife. You, you even refused my company after I, I brought you a most calming and restorative gallon of turkey soup. I know, I know, and that was really sweet of you, but I'm feeling fine now. Honestly, I'm just busy. My Maximista's work ethic is rivaled by none. I'm just trying to keep Kate from demoting me. I mean, I was supposed to lock Franco in for that photo shoot, and I didn't make it happen. Well, the Glacier one just needs to exercise a little more patience and have the faith and trust in you that I do. No, Spinelli, the whole point was for me to get Franco to agree to do the Crimson layout, and I couldn't make that happen. So, of course, me being me, I got desperate and stubborn and stupid, and I trashed my life again. <laughs> trashed it? How? You're upset. You, tell me what it is so I can help. You know me. You know I have a history of trashing everything good that comes into my life. You mustn't dwell on the past. I mean, look at all the all the progress that you've had. I, I mean, I for one see all the work and, and the restraint that you employ. I mean, you said you've ruined something. I mean, you can tell me. It's just my job, my future. Kate gave me a huge opportunity, and you know she was counting on me to book Franco for the shoot, and I, I didn't do it. Well, perhaps you're being too hard on yourself. I'm, I'm sure that you pleased Franco in whatever way you could. You could say that. And I, I think it's unfair that, that Kate shouldered you with this burden. I mean, she knows she knows that he is a reclusive and sought-after artist. I, I, I can't imagine he's done anything as commercial as a, as a fashion layout before. Yeah, I knew that going in. That was the challenge, and I, I failed. I, I'm sure you put your best efforts forward. I respect you for trying, as should Kate. You always think the best of me. Well, it's not difficult for me to do. You know, I think this situation calls for an afternoon of indulgence. I think perhaps Max Misty could use some cheering. So how about a shopping spree at one of your favorite houses of couture? And you hate fashion. Well, regardless, I will applaud every garment you grace with your beauty. And afterwards, we can even indulge in tea and... Cucumber sandwiches in the lounge upstairs. Come on. I would love that. But I can't. Um, I have to stay here and redeem myself. Because after everything that's happened, something good has to come out of this. Everything we can about Franco. All of the facts. So then we can figure out if he is or isn't the homeless guy that saw you. I mean, I've had some really good research and he hasn't come up with much. All right, for the sake of argument, let's just say that it is him. Mm -hmm. He's the guy that saw you. Why didn't he go to the cops by now? Maybe he wanted something else, and that's why he wanted to meet you that night at the art show. Hey. Hey. You okay? Uh, I'm concerned for my fair maximista. What'd she do now? Well, it... She hasn't given herself the necessary time to recover from her recent bout with influenza, and the Glacier One continues to pressure her to secure a nearly impossible deal, a photo layout with, with Franco. So I, I've taken it upon myself to locate the artist in question and secure his cooperation for my non-wife. Yeah, but you told me your search turned up practically nothing. Well, then I'll redouble my efforts. We would be happy to help. Both of us. Well, do you have any leads on where we should start looking?
I've retrieved both images, enhanced them as much as I possibly could, and put them side by side. On the left, we have our homeless witness waving to the bank camera, and then on the right, we have Franco making a similar gesture. At the Almost gallery. identical gesture. You still can't really see their face, so yeah, it could be the same person. Uh, I'm I also mean... running a couple other programs to retrieve as much additional information as I can. Ooh, uh, wait a minute, Kate. Kate has got to have some information that we could use. There's no way she would have sent Maxie there without doing a background check. Okay, can you do me a favor? I don't mention anything to Kate about my efforts to aid Maximista, please. Of course. Okay, we need to figure out why this guy's so hung up on murder and crime scenes. Run a background check on his agent and anyone else he's worked with. Well, what about um past girlfriends and liaisons? I mean, anyone that shared a nocturnal intimacy with this fellow might know more than they realize. Hey, Maxie. Hey. You feeling any better? Yeah, thanks. I'm so bummed you missed Thanksgiving dinner. I mean, really, we could have totally used your finesse and hooking up Max and Alexis. It totally bombed. It was almost... Uh, are you okay? Have you ever thought about shoes? Like, maybe if you were wearing a different pair than the ones you originally picked out for the day, they might take you someplace different than where you ended up. Are you still on blue medicine? No. No. I was just thinking about shoes and the colors and the styles, how they can change your mood, build your confidence. It's almost like an extension of your personality. Yeah. All right, but I guess I never really thought about it like that. And I'm sorry to interrupt your whole shoe theorizing and all, but... Look, Maxi, Spinelli is really worried about you. He thinks he, th you're being a little bit too hard on yourself about this whole Franco situation. Well, he's wrong. I was supposed to book Franco to do a photo shoot for Crimson, and I couldn't make it happen. Really? You know what? I actually, I actually was able to look through the catalog at the exhibit, and I read his bio, and, and he seems like a pretty reclusive guy. I'm sort of surprised he even agreed to show up to begin with. Yeah, he is kind of strange. I thought it was weird that he wanted to meet Jason. Yeah, me too, but you know what? I think he was just confused because Franco said something about Jason being another artist or something. Funny thing. Uh, any additional research has yielded a resounding lack of information. I mean, there are a few articles about his curious tagging exploits in New York City a few years back, but they only offer surface information. When, when was the last time he showed up at an art exhibit? Uh, his last public appearance was in Paris three years ago, but between that time and his latest Port Charles display, I mean, he virtually fell off the grid. Okay, but why, why Port Charles? Well, uh, according to Maximista, the, the glacial one pulled many strings. I, well, have Franco and Kate ever crossed paths before? Uh, nothing that I can see. Wait, well, here's something. I, I, I traced his passport, and it... It appears Franco has been in the U.S. for almost two months. Got the proofs from Federico's new evening line. Tell me what you think. <sighs> Looks good. No call from Franco? No. That's really annoying. And Sam came by to tell me how worried Spinelli is about me. What'd he say? That I'm pushing myself too much. Kate's being hard on me about this Franco thing, the usual. Mm. That's why you love Spinelli. I know. That's why I've decided that I need to pull myself together and start acting like an adult. You're gonna tell him. No. I'm just gonna pretend like nothing ever happened. And I will try to make Spinelli the happiest non-husband that ever was. Right, because that's what adults do. Come on, Lulu. Just, I don't need any more pressure, okay? If, if Franco calls back, I'm going to try to convince him to do this shoot. If he doesn't, I'll find another way to impress Kate. But regardless, no one else needs to know what happened with me and Franco. The record of Franco's expenditures during the time his passport indicates he was in the U.S., which could mean someone else was paying his bills. Uh, probably his agent. Right, right. I will initiate a search. Current location for Franco would enable me to pay him a visit, and I could persuade him to do the crimson photo shoot. And the glacial one would have no choice but to reward Maximista for her tireless dedication and loyalty. I wish for nothing more than 
for Max Mason to move triumphantly forward in her career, and it, and it seems that Franco might be the key to that success, don't you think? <laughs>